I mean, look at all this fog. It makes it so hard to make these videos because I can't get the light right. It, the fog works as like a light diffusion, so it makes the light soft, but it's so bright, I, I can't get it right. So we've done a walkthrough of the Model Y. We've done a sound test comparing the Model Y to the Model 3. Today we're looking at efficiency. How efficient is the Model Y compared to the Model 3? Let me get back to the house and we'll go through all of it. All right, so let's talk efficiency and specifically how does the Model Y stack up against the Model 3? Now, for those of you that might be new to this channel, maybe you haven't seen my past videos, I owned a Model 3 all-wheel drive long range for about nine months. I put 30,000 miles on the car while I owned it, and I really got to understand how it drove and what the efficiency looked like. On average, the car was about 85% efficient. Well, I recently upgraded to a Model Y performance, and while I've only had the car for a week, this past Monday I got to take a long trip and really see what the efficiency looked like. Now, this was a trip that I had taken countless times in the Model 3, so I really knew what to expect from the drive. And the information I found from comparing the two was pretty interesting. So before I show you and go into the details about the efficiency between the two, I wanna tell you about the drive and the kind of conditions I was in. So I live in Maryland, right between Baltimore and DC. And for work, I cover a site that's all the way on the Eastern shore of Maryland. It's about 140 miles one way from my house. It's really flat roads, the speed limit's 55. I do typically 65, 67 and it's just wide open driving. It's super easy, you can put the car on autopilot and it will drive you the entire way there. So I think the best way to show you how these two cars compare efficiency wise is to show you an app on my phone called Teslab. Now this is a phenomenal app if you own a Tesla. Their customer service is great. There's so much rich content that you don't get out of the Tesla app in Teslab. I'm gonna do a future video that kind of compares this app to several others, but for now I'm just gonna show you what my screen looks like in this app. So if I go into the app, you'll see what the map looks like in terms of my trip. And then if I scroll up, you'll see that this trip was March 11th at 5.12 a.m. This is in my Model 3. And I'm gonna point out some things on here that I think are interesting. So the driving time was two hours and 10 minutes. The distance was 142.2 miles but the range used was 173.9 miles. The average temperature was 45 degrees. My average speed was 65.23. Now, if I scroll down here, you can see my efficiency in the Model 3 on this trip was 82%. There's my speed again, and there's where the elevation was. This is a little bit funny for me, and I'll explain why in a minute. My most efficient time was 94% and the least efficient was 75%. So that's what the trip looked like in the Model 3 driving down to the Eastern Shore. So the thing I love about this app is you can jump between the different cars that you either owned or have owned, and all the stats are linked specific to the VIN of that car. So I've switched over to the Model Y, and you can see the map is identical to the trip I took in the Model 3. If I scroll up, you can see that it was March 24th at 5.21 a.m., so a similar time of day. The driving time was two hours and three minutes. The distance was 137.7 miles. The range used was 182.8 miles. The temperature was 40 degrees. The speed was 66.92. And if you look at the average efficiency, on average, the Model Y was 75% efficient on this trip. The speed was similar and the elevation was negative 477 feet. I think there's something wrong here because this is the exact same trip, but there's a huge discrepancy in terms of elevation. Now, if I look at the most efficient and least efficient factors, so the most efficient the Model Y was on the trip was 84%, and the least efficient it was was 67%. This is just such great information when looking at two cars that took the exact same trip in how they compare. So I know I've thrown a lot of information at you and I'm gonna put up here a side-by-side -side comparison of all the data points that I pulled out of the app and went over so you can take a look and see what you think. 
I do think this was a pretty perfect comparison in terms of it was the exact same stretch of road. It was a long distance that was almost similar as difference of five miles. The speed was almost the same. The temperature was the same or very close. And I think it answers the question of, is the Model Y as efficient as the Model 3? And the answer is no, it's not. And I think that makes sense. I mean, it's a heavier car. It sits higher off the ground. There's a difference in the tires. It's probably not as aerodynamic and has a little bit more drag. So I think we were expecting to see there was going to be a difference. But I, what I'm not an expert on is, were we expecting the difference to be larger? Did we think we'd see a larger delta between the average efficiency? Or did people expect it to be smaller? Let me know what you think and let me know if I should have done this differently. If there was a factor that you caught on to that maybe played a role in why the efficiencies were what the efficiencies were. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Get better. Be better. We'll see you in the next one. See ya! I do this video over and over. I've taken this jacket off probably a hundred times because I don't want cuts in the video. So I have to say the entire 10 minute spiel in one take. It's terrible. For those of you that are... See, another take. Another take. Super frustrating. Another take. It's at least take five since I started documenting the takes. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. Luckily, I'm in the basement, so my family doesn't have to hear me say this over and over again. Do, 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 do. Doing another take. Doing another take. I'm terrible at making videos, I'm doing another take.